Hey everybody, welcome back to the Homeshire. We're glad you're here. In Utah, it, it's been a crazy winter this year. We've had so much snow, bitter temperatures. With our chickens specifically, over the last few years, we, we certainly see a dip in production over winter. But the newer hens, we usually see them continue to lay, at least to an extent, throughout the season. We didn't see that this year. So we thought maybe they're not getting the best nutrition and we should probably have a little more control over their feed. So what we decided to do is make our own. And here's how we did that. An old batter bowl that was an eight cup batter bowl. So it was easy to, to measure things out with. And then just a, your standard 27 gallon tote that you can get from any big box store. And it works great because it seals well, it keeps out pests and moisture. And here's how we combine the food together. First, the base of our feed is hard red wheat. We happen to have some just in our food storage. We add 48 cups or six scoops of this wheat. On top of that, we add another six scoops or 48 cups of cracked corn. High levels of carbohydrates, this is great to help them maintain their body temperature and to stay active throughout the day and it also acts as a natural grit. Then we add some Milo or millet. That's three scoops or 24 cups. And then we add two scoops of barley which is about 16 cups and you can use whole grain oats or whole oats if you have those on hand. And then we add one and a half scoops or 12 cups of field peas. And this is, this is a great source of protein for them. Add black oil, sunflower seeds, or boss. This is a, a fantastic source of fatty acids for them. It helps with their immune system. Uh, it helps with the sheen and the strength of their feathers. Now, each of these grains and seeds, with the exception of the hard red wheat, we just got at our local feed store. And we like to get them as close to their natural raw state as possible before any processing happens. One of the things that we do is to keep the eggshells. We save them on a baking sheet. We'll bake them at 200 degrees Fahrenheit for 40 minutes. And this dries them out. It kills off any remaining bacteria. And then you just blend them up in a blender and we save them in a container like this and it acts as a great calcium supplement to their feed in addition to the free choice oyster shell that we already offer them. The last ingredient that we add to our feed is kelp powder and this is really great for trace minerals and vitamins, immune system, etc. We purchase it on Amazon and you can see that on our Amazon idea list and that link is in the video description. So once all of the ingredients have been added then we mix it until it's well combined. So we started all of our chickens on this feed and we went from getting about a handful of eggs a week and that had really soft shells and were pretty fragile to getting about a dozen a day and the the shells have thickened up substantially it's important to note a couple of things. Number one, this feed is not appropriate for chicks. This is for adult hens. And number two, we don't soak or ferment this feed during winter because of how cold it is in our area. It just ends up freezing. Make sure to subscribe so you catch our next video on homesteading here at the Homeshire.